nation means country ka income means you can say the total income of the country this all are come under macroeconomics and the national income means it, it comes mainly come from the three sectors that is primary sectors secondary sectors and tertiary sectors primary sectors include fishery mining agriculture forestry and the secondary sectors include manufacturing industries all these things and the tertiary sectors include telecommunications tourism banking all these things right so income comes from these three sectors means that is your national income means total income of the country if we are study about the national income of the country that will be come under macroeconomics theory clear and this macroeconomics theory is also known as theory of income and employment and then microeconomics is also known as the theory of price price theory why it is all this price theory because it mainly deal with the price of commodities and factors you know what is commodities in commodities means in economics commodities means goods commodities goods these two are synonyms for same meaning hai hey? commodities goods yeah next topic is scarcity in simple language scarcity means limited so uh, limitations of supply in relation with demand for a commodity it means when supply is less than demand this is the situations of scarcity in economy right and the three most important process of an economy that is production consumption and capital formation any country can, country should have a good production process in order to in order to obtain the economic growth of the country this is okay for production means produce, process of producing something the production process um, mainly exists in the agriculture manufacturing and then uh, tertiary sectors right so and come to the next topic that is consumption consumption is a process of consuming means production for this there should be consumption and the third one is capital formation capital here uh, it means the money money formation money formation means investment capital formation tabhi hoga when there is an investment right so this is the three important process of an economy okay so next is economic problems it is a problem of choice involving satisfactions of unlimited human wants out of limited resources having an alternative uses simply you can say it is a problem of choice problem of choice means uh, how to use the available resources to meet the human wants as humans wants are unlimited in nature right so this is economic problem this is very important and now come to the next point that is reason for economic problems reason for economic problems the first one is scarcity of resources resources are always in scarce means always in limited in nature and the unlimited human wants human wants human needs are unlimited and the third one is alternative uses so this is the reason for economic problems dear students so today's last topic is central problem of an economy so this is very important topics there are there are three central problem of an economy that is what to produce and in what quantities and second one is how to produce and third one is for whom to produce what to produce and in what quantities it is due to the limited resources every economy has to decide what goods to produce and in what quantities an economy has to make a choice of the ones which are important for the economy as a whole for example if the economy decide to produce more cloth it is bound to reduce the production of food an economy cannot produce more of both food and cloth 
like uh, for example, in a plot of land, plot of land is the resources. In plot of land, we have to cultivate wheat and rice. For example, wheat and rice. If we produce more of wheat, we have to sacrifice for the production of rice. If we produce more of rice, we have to sacrifice for the production of wheat. Right? Because an economy cannot produce more of both good and cloth because resources are limited. Clear? And move to the second one that is how to produce. How to produce? It is the question of choice of technique of production. A technique of production would maximize output or minimize cost should be used. Here, two types of technical productions are used, that is labor-intensive techniques and capital-intensive techniques. Labor-intensive techniques use more of labors and less of capitals, and it is mostly used in the agriculture field. Uh, you can say it is mostly used in the uh, primary sectors, right? And then Capital intensive technique. Capital intensive technique used more of capital, more of machinery items, more of money, and the less of levers. It is mostly ages in the industry sectors. In industry, we use more of capital, more of machinery side items instead of levers. Right? So this is the how to produce. And the third point is for whom to produce. For whom to produce, this is the question of how to distribute the product among various sections to buy. The total output ultimately flows to the household in the form of income. That is, in the form of wages, in the form of salaries, in the form of interest, etc. There are millions of people in society. Each one cannot get sufficient incomes to satisfy all his wants. This raises the problem of distributions of national product among different households. I think now you are clear the central problem of the economy, what to produce, in what quantities, how to produce, and for whom to produce. My dear students, come to the conclusion part. I think you all are understood what I have explained and discussed here today, like the definitions of economics, economy, economize, branches of economics, scarcity, economic problems, regions of economic problems, and the central problem of an economy. Uh, for your reference, I will send notes to your WhatsApp group. Thank you so much, and see you in the next class.